to lengthen sleeves. Note, in some cases, you will not have enough sleeve to make the proper hem for someone who has long arms. You must have a minimum of one and a half inch turn back to clean finish the sleeve hem with a separate facing attached. Use a two inch bolted satin hem facing, lining, or closest matching fabric color and cut finished width of two and three quarter times the sleeve width to clean finish the bottom edge of the sleeve. Measure around the sleeve hem for the sleeve width and add one inch more for each seam allowed. Match the cut piece to sleeve and seam. And sew with one quarter inch seam margin around the sleeve opening. You will have the option to press the facing flat with sleeve hem or use your fingers to keep seams flat as you complete the facing with 1 8 inch edge stitching. The process helps to keep the facing from dipping in or rolling out. Mark sleeve inseam and outseam with chalk, but make sure to keep the sleeve opening the same width as it was originally. Begin sewing starting from the original seam and continue onto your seam markings. Make sure the facing seams match to ensure an even turn up for hem allowance. Press finished hem in place on both sleeves. Follow the same instructions for placing and attaching braids, bars, etc. Refer to wear guide for placements. Pull sleeves inside out and with a seam ripper, very carefully open the inside lining starting approximately 3 inches from the armhole seam and make about a 6 inch opening. Reach inside the opening to pull the raw hem edges through. Then make sure you grab and pin the sleeve inseams and outseams together. Make sure nothing is twisting. Reinsert pins going perpendicular to the end of the sleeve to hold the seams together. Sew the lining and outer material with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Starting at the inseam continuing all around to finish at starting point. This will clean finish the raw edges of both lining and outer material. Where you pin the inseam hem to match the inseam and outseam, machine back tack 3 to 4 stitches, a couple of rows to secure the hem in its proper place. Tuck the hem back through the open inseam of lining. Pull through to form the finished hem of the sleeve with lining attached. Make sure the lining does not hang below outer sleeve hem. Sew the open lining close with the edge stitch. Smooth the lining along with the outer sleeve to make sure the sleeve is not twisted and press lining at hem. Repeat the process to the second sleeve. Press both sleeves 